Okay, hey guys, I just wanted to share a quick project share with you guys. Share, project share. Um, I posted these on my Instagram before, but I'm just going to show you really quick the things I used and what I made. So I used, I will link, I'm going to try to link all of the stuff that I used down below. Um, so you guys, if you want to replicate it, you can do it yourself. Okay, so everybody knows that like pastel Halloween is in, so I decided to make some... Um, these are some of the stuff that I made. I'll show you how I ended up using them. Okay, so I made these uh, monster like embellishments using the We Are Memory Keepers punch board. Uh, and I'm sure you guys seen it. This is a little punch board. And then this is all the letters, just to show you really quick. Um, I just spelled the word monster out and cut it in colored paper. And then I backed them all up. Um, and then I added a googly eye, and I had these from last year, from the dollar store, Dollar Tree, and I really like the ones that are, that are color, colorful, because they go, um, and so, yeah, they look something like this. I kept it simple, I backed them in white so they can stand out and still be pretty, I guess I'd say, so, I made a few, I also made the word scary, but this is darker. Um, just for other projects um, and then let me show you how I use them so pretty much you just punch out whatever word you want in this case I put monster and I thought it was cute to use a googly eye and I glued the googly eye with E6000 I like using these little ones because they don't dry up fast and it's just easy to manage and then the little googly eyes I got from the Dollar Tree. And that's pretty much it. This was an easy... You can spell out any word. Um, you could also spell out boo. Um, but I thought the word of monster was cute. Because I had the little googly eye. And I decided I would paste it. So let me show you really quick. Um, so this is my... This is going to be my 2018 October daily. Um, and I kind of pre-planned. I just want to show you how I used one of the monster here. See? It looks so cute, doesn't it? Um, this one, I didn't like outline it, but I did back it up. You can do it however you want. Um, see how they, this one has a little white outline? This one doesn't, but that's pretty much it. Okay, so that's my first project share. Well, since I have this open already, my second project share is um, these die cuts. Um, and I went with the pastel theme as well. So let me show you guys. Um, I'll flip through the book right now. Um, so I use these dies. Um, all of these are from AliExpress or AliExpress. I don't know how to say it. Um, and I made some awesome cutouts using, um, using some um, pastel colors. And then let me show you some of the cut parts, how they look. So this is that witch. So here she looks kind of scary, but once you cut her out, look at how cute she looks. So I made them, and I made her in different colors. Actually, this might be distracting. Let me put it aside. So here, I guess I'll start with the witch, and then I made a few pastel colors. Um, the rest I used, um, and then I also did. So I did pink, yellow purple like a green and I think that's it and like a very light blue um I also did this ghost and this was my favorite I didn't cut you're supposed to like take it apart but I think it's easier to to um pass it through this machine like that I used up most of them they come out so nice um and here this is how they look See if I can find any little ones. And these I used up really quick for a bunch of cards. These are the pastel colors I use. And you can punch out in any colored paper you want. But I pick these. Because I'm trying to go with the pastel theme. You know. That's so in now. Let's see if you can see. Look at the little one. Look at how cute that little one is. Super cute. Okay. So that's the ghost. I want to say the ghost is one of my favorites. Um, so that's the ghost. And then, this is one of my favorites too. This is like a woman skull or something. She's like a very pretty woman and she cuts out like this. Um, and I used, the, I used her a bunch of times. I used her last year a lot in a lot of my projects. 
Um, I used most of her already, so that's how she comes out. Um, so that one's nice. And then this pumpkin. Okay, so this pumpkin looks really freaky, right? Like really scary. But look at how it comes out. Look at, look at how cute. Um, and I'll show you how I dressed it up so it won't be that scary. Um, I wasn't, this isn't really pastel, but I made it work. Um, I think those are the only two of the rest I used. So that's this die. And then we have this spider web die. And I think I used all the cutouts that I made already, but I do have a sample of it in my book. So let me... And here it is. That's how it cuts out. It's really nice. See? So I really like that. Um, and that's how a pumpkin looks. How, that's how the scary pumpkin looks cut out with pink. With the soft pink. And then I just added a little bow. And that's how the girl looks. And I added a little flower there. Um, and then I have... I also have this spider die. Too. That is a really creepy spider. But it looks kind of cute. Once it's cut out. And I can't find the die. Um, but it looks kind of cute once you cut it out with like a uh, a soft color. And then let me see if I can find any of the ghosts. And here's the ghost in the green. See how cute? I think I have more. But I, and there's a pumpkin again. Um, I kind of pre-planned some pages. Okay, so this this little witch, she's right here. Am I in frame? Yeah. She's right here. Um, and then I cut her out in a couple of different colors. If I can find any color. But this is how she looks. Um, yeah, I did it in a few colors. And I think I use it for different projects. And then I also did this skull. So let me close it. So this skull is... Um, again, it looks super scary. But it's the skull and bones... If I could find the bone part, I just have, okay, here it is. So this is it. It's the skull and bones. And I also cut it out in pastel. So here's the pink. Super cute. Just add a little bow or something and it won't be as scary. See? And I've used them already on a card. Um, I'm pretty sure I have already. Let me see if it's in one of the books. Let me flip through. Oh! So yeah, I've been like doing a few things. Um, okay, so here, I don't know if you guys can see these. I did a few memory decks, not memory decks, gosh, um, like cards so they can be ready. Here's the girl again. And then this is also another die. I, I only made one, I think, of these because it's an older die, but this is the die. And it's super cute. And then here's the witch again. I don't know if you can maybe put them back in. And then there's the witch. Yeah, there's probably going to be glare, but. And then this is something I made before. And then there's a little pumpkin guy again. And then I did the ghost. See here, are the ghosts. So cute. Um, and so that's pretty much it. That's my project share for now. Oh, I also used, um, what other thing? What else have I been up to? Okay, so you guys know the new stamp set from Michaels. This, um, I fell in love with this one. It's super cute. And so what I did is I just stamped it and I made some ephemera. Look at how cute this looks. I put it there. I didn't want to glue it down because I liked it and I might want to use it on another one. And then here's the other one. It's right here. Super pretty, right? Um, this is something that I made last year and I decided to put it on here because it looked cute and it kind of went with the theme. Um, but this is how the images look. Um, I did have a problem with this one. It wasn't inking. Like, I don't know, the way it's made, the stamp is made. It's missing some parts. Like, this wasn't clear. But all I did was use a... Um, a 0.1 micron marker pen to um, fill in the little gaps and you can't even tell so that's my tip for you guys if you have um, 
if you're stamping and you're missing a couple things, just um, grab a thin pen and just fill it in. So I filled in the bottom here. So you can't even tell. I filled in this bottom down here and then I filled in her like finger up here. Um, and that's pretty much it. What other shares do I have for you? Oh, and I also made... Um, you guys remember these. I know you guys remember these because everybody bought them last year. So do you guys remember these skulls from Michaels that have the little, they're like glitter and they have the foam in the back? Well, I made some pretty pastel <laughs> girly skulls. Um, and I thought they were really cute. And so for this, the only thing I used was... Uh, flat back flowers, acrylic, is there acrylic? So they're pretty much flat in the back. And then I just grabbed my good old E6000 and put a little dab on there and then just put it there. And that's it. Um, I mean, I could have used stars as well, but I think the flowers are cuter. The stars aren't bad either, you know? Um, but I like the flowers better. And I think that's what I've done so far, guys. Oh, I did do one memory decks card. Um, but I'll leave that for another video. Okay, guys, that's it. I just thought I'd make a short video and share some of the craft projects I'm making or Halloween projects that I'm making. Um, and I hope you like them. Bye.